Hello, this is Mike Queen from WinCNC, and I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to import DXF files into Aspire and generate a toolpath. This is also the second part of the WinCNC outline scan tutorial. First thing I want to do is create a new file. Here I want this to be, since my part is 5 by 9 roughly, I want this to be about 5.5 by 9.5 and for thickness my parts actually 0.5 half inch uh, everything else looks good lower left hand corner okay uh, next thing I need to do is go to the folder where I have the DXF files stored and I'll go to import, import vectors, and I have them stored in this DXF outline scan folder. I'm going to grab this outline DXF first. You'll notice that this is not centered up on the material. That's because I did not set the X, Y origin before I did the scans. However, all of these DXF files were done at the same time from the same X, Y origin. So therefore, they will all line up properly, and once I've imported all of them, I will just hit F9 and shift them over to the center of my material. So I can do Control-I and access that same folder, and so the next thing I want to do is open this inner one, Control-I. I have to do these one at a time. I wish I could group import, but I can't. Control I. Control I. And these UL and UR, this is upper left. Control I. And upper right. And now I have all of my DXF files imported. I can select everything. I could also have hit Control A and selected everything. Hit F9 and center them up on my material. I could just go ahead and set a toolpath on this and it would cut it, but there is, are issues here. This is not a, the outline scan is never perfect. Uh, and I can see some roughness right here along this edge and I know that there have to be other rough places. So what I need to do is clean this up a little. And the way I want to do that is first I'll select the outline. I'm going to come over to the fit curves to selected vector. Click that and if you'll notice all of these little points, every one of these dots that you see there are actually points. And if we zoom in on them you can see. What I did was on the outline scan I get a point every tenth of an inch on this particular scan because that's what I had my increment set to. But by running it through here and selecting straight lines here, I should knock this down to just a few points. So I'm going to click preview and you notice that I've got straight lines everywhere. I've only got just a few points at the corners. So I'm happy with that next thing I want to do is this one here and see all the points well I think on this one I'm going to do circular arcs and at least try it click preview and I'm pretty happy with that because that'll give me my rounded corners in here I know that I cut this with a half inch end mill and therefore they're going to be pretty rounded on these corners and that by the way, this was an old junk part that I had. Uh, next, I want to cut the holes, or not cut, but I want to uh, edit the holes. And if you look, these have many, many points on them. That's because I set my increment to 50,000, so the points are twice as close as any points here. So I'll click Preview, and it knocked it down to four points. If I were really going to do this for a 
marketable part or whatever, I would replace these holes. I would use these for a center point, a starting point, and mic one of them and know exactly what size circle to put on here. And I would replace all of these round holes with the same size circle. However, this is for demonstration purposes only, so therefore I'm not going to worry much about it. Uh, I'm getting a fair representation of a round hole here, and that's all we need for this video. Uh, select this hole, same thing, circular arcs, preview, four points. Circular arcs arcs see the all the points when you click the preview those all go away you have four points there and for my purposes that will work fine so the next thing I need to do I've got everything that I need here my part was a flat part it was a half inch thick and I have an outline I have everything here that I need to make one of these parts. As I said, if I were cutting this as real, I would be in here editing these outlines, these lines, to make sure that they were as precise as possible to the part that I want to cut. Uh, but this is a fair, fair representation, and if I was just wanting to make one of these to look at or whatever, and didn't really care about exact dimensions, I would go ahead and cut this. Uh, speaking of size, uh, if we go here and come up here and, and we'll grab a point somewhere along in here, say, and come down here, come across, okay, there, and how close? 8.9557. That's not too bad. It's not exactly perfect. It should have been closer to nine, but we're talking about a few thousandths. And as I said, if you were really wanting to get it right, you would uh, probably have come in here and edited it out. 4.99. This should have been about nine. This should have been about five. That's very close. So that gives you some idea of, of how precise the edge scan can be when it's set up correctly. So I'll close this. Now I will set a toolpath on this and select it all. Come over to toolpath. I'm going to do an, a profile. I am going to cut a half inch deep. I'm going to use a quarter inch end mill. I'm going to do an outside. I'm going to do this in, say, three passes. Click OK. I'm not going to leave tabs. Normally I would leave tabs if I were cutting this outline, but I want to delete all of the, what I would call junk from it to show you the part. So, and by the way, I'll hit F12 and come over to this tab. Now all I've got to do is click Calculate, and there is my toolpath. If I preview the toolpath, there's my part. If I double click each one of these things, I can roll that up on its edge and that's actually very close to what my part looked like. Um, I may stick a photograph of the actual part that I scanned in here. I'll try to uh, lay this up close to what it, the angle that it looked like. The other part, these tabs only were were only like 50 thousandths thick or whatever, so these run all the way to the bottom. This is not an actual representation of it. This is just a mock-up and something that I could do quickly to show this for the video purpose. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.